Hello and welcome to vlog number 19. Because it's Parkinson's Awareness Week and because it was World Parkinson's Day on the 11th of April, I wanted to do a positive blog about Parkinson's Awareness. I find myself struggling to be positive, which in itself is a symptom of Parkinson's. The slogan, we won't wait, is bandied around on social media and the voices in my head are saying, yes you will, you've got no choice. But why should we wait? It seems there's a major breakthrough in the news every few weeks. Repurposed medications, an understanding of the processes that cause Parkinson's, stories of hope, of successful clinical trials. And yet, in 2017, the gold standard treatment for Parkinson's disease is a drug that was discovered over 50 years ago, and there has been nothing of any significance since then. Even the operation that I had last year, deep brain stimulation, isn't new. People think it's a radical new procedure, but I know for a fact that it has been performed in the UK for about 30 years. The techniques may have been improved and refined over the years, but essentially the process is the same. But let's be more positive. If it weren't for deep brain stimulation, then I wouldn't have the quality of life that I currently enjoy. By the time that my Parkinson's has progressed to the point where DBS can no longer provide relief, there will have been major advances in medication, perhaps even a cure. I believe we are very close to discovering the cause of Parkinson's, and with that knowledge and understanding should come therapies to improve the quality of life for so very many people who are currently struggling to live with this condition. The current array of prescription drugs for Parkinson's disease are a lifeline for many, but they simply aren't good enough. They lose effectiveness over time, they merely mask the effects of the condition, they don't halt progression or even slow it down, let alone reverse it, and they can have some extremely unpleasant and distressing side effects. Looking on the Parkinson's UK website this morning, they're asking for public support, that means money folks, to research better treatments faster. The cynic in me will make a negative comment at this point, but let's make a positive one instead. If it's only a lack of research funding that is holding us back, then it is a real no-brainer. Parkinson's drugs are expensive. Part of the justification for DBS is a financial one. The procedure results in a reduced dependency upon the prescription medications, such that the payback time for the operation is around three years. I've heard many figures bandied around, but I believe the cost of my operation is currently between twenty-five and thirty thousand pounds. Do some basic maths, and you can soon see that a cure for Parkinson's would save the health service a vast amount of money. Perhaps that's the problem as well as being the solution. There can be little incentive for large pharmaceutical companies to come up with a cure for a chronic health condition that would effectively kill the goose that is currently laying golden eggs. But that's just the cynic in me speaking again. So what would a cure mean for me and my family? It would give two people back their lives. Me, although I have managed to regain some quality of life following my operation, it would be amazing to have the energy to get things done around the house. To return to gainful employment. To not have one eye on the dark clouds of disease progression that are on the horizon. To relieve the worries of my wife and my children about what the future holds for us all. Then there's my mother, who is 83 today, 14th of April 2017. Happy birthday, Mum. She will regain some independence. We'll be able to join in conversation once more. We'll be able to go for walks in the countryside. We'll be able to tend her vegetable plot. We'll gain some enjoyment from her final years. She has advanced Parkinson's and has been suffering symptoms of the condition for well over 20 years now. I went to see her recently and she wasn't having a very good day. Her eyes were streaming, she was drooling uncontrollably, she could barely walk even with the assistance of her walking frame. And when she went to the bathroom she fell over and had to be lifted up by my wife and I. Not very dignified for her. As she was sitting in the chair recovering from the fall, my wife was out of the room making her a cup of coffee. And my mum looked at me and said, It's not worth going on, is it? What could I say? 
I had entertained the exact same thought before I had my operation, so I could empathise completely. <coughs> Parkinson's disease is an incurable, progressive neurological condition that has a multitude of hidden symptoms, aside from the shaking and the shuffling walk that are commonly associated with it. It could affect you, or your mother, or father, or your child. One in 20 people diagnosed with Parkinson's disease is under the age of 40. There's even one chap I know through Facebook who was diagnosed at the age of seven. It's seemingly indiscriminate. I never thought I'd have it. My mum never thought she'd have it. If money really is all that's preventing us from finding a cure, then we need to start throwing money at it now. That really is a classic no-brainer. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great weekend. See you next Friday.